Well, hello and welcome back everybody. We are here on episode 10, Cork Farms, doing our Let's Get a Castle series. But basically what that means is we need to get up to $10 million so we can purchase the castle that's located on this map. Now let's go ahead and go over the goals for this episode. Shorten episodes to 30 minutes, and I'll explain that in a little while. Bell silage for TMR and selling, which uh, I think I might change that up. I just noticed something. <laughs> Bell grass for sheep and make money. So pretty simple goals there. Obviously, I got to take care of my animals all throughout the months. But let me talk about that shortened episode. So I'm getting pretty busy in real life and I got multiple series going on. So the idea is I want to shorten up these episodes so I can try to spend a little less edit time on them. Not necessarily play time. I want to still get a lot done. But I'm going to start trying to leave out some of the redundant stuff, I guess. And the funny thing about that is I had that in my notes for episode 10 to go ahead and try to start shortening it. And I was reviewing the comments for this episode, which are comments out of episode 5. And one of those comments has to do with shortening the videos, so we'll go over that. This was, I'm not here to help, but you know there's nothing wrong with 20, 30, 40 minute videos. Just saying. That was from Chris Stewart. And I didn't catch it whenever the comment came out. The weird thing is, that comment is actually not on my desktop version for some reason, but it's on my phone version. So I don't know if I miss a notification there or not. I'm, I'm not a bigger channel, but I am pretty busy. I definitely try to get to all the comments. I don't know how I missed that one, but I've been noticing I've been missing a few here and there. Maybe something to do with my notifications. But I did notice that some of my comments show up on my phone and don't show up on the browser, desktop browser for my YouTube studio. But anyways, I commented back saying I was just planning on changing episode 10 forward to 30 minute videos. I'm reviewing these comments now to read off, and I guess I missed this one. That's kind of funny and perfect for episode 10. So yes, that's why this comment's getting in there pretty early. So I just did a quick look at both the fields. I got oats planted on this one, linseed planted on the other one. I wanted to do something a little different last episode. And I only have three silage bells over here. But the thing is, I thought that was all I had, so that's why one of my goals was to make silage bells. But I got more. Over here, I got quite a bit of silage bells. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I know I'm going to mow between now and then, so I'm probably going to go with more silage bells just so I can make more money. And the goal, make money. We got that greenhouse in. And that greenhouse is probably going to be bringing us in quite a bit of money. So let's keep on top of that and get some of that stuff sold at the best time. But right now, I believe I'm ready to advance to the next month. I'm going to go through and check all my animals and check other things and just kind of advance until something comes up a harvest time for the grass or something along that lines i'm going to try to cut out more of the animal care stuff but we'll see you know what i started to notice something i think this straw pallet thing is actually starting to work it's right here and i didn't have to come over here and click on it throughout the month or night or whatever so that's pretty good i know those pallets over there didn't work for the chickens so i might look at switching one of those out with some wheat both grass fields are ready to harvest, but I only have one mower. So I'm going to start on that smaller field right now. Let's head over there. Take a look at that. Yeah, this this smaller field over here, I'm just going to go ahead and make it all grass. And then the next one I might do all silage just for sell. But I do need some grass for the sheep to get me through. And this is probably going to be the last harvest for the grass of this here we are over here on field one which is auto sim crew field so let's go ahead and uh check out his comments that he left for episode five so staying in atp sounds fun but not with the temps from the pad this past week <laughs> okay well i remember this uh week was really hot it was over 100 degrees and he is pretty close so yeah he's probably getting some hot temps too and then I put, I wouldn't do it where I'm at now, but when we did it, the highs were in the 50s. We actually had to get a heater for the night. <laughs> so yeah, we, we stayed in the TP when we took a family vacation up to Colorado. It's been a long time since I did that. We were trying to plan a family vacation this year. We tried to go to a gamer convention, me and the kids, and we're going to have to cancel it this year. Uh, just, I guess life, just kidding the way. Too many unplanned expenses this year. But hey, thank you for that comment. Let's see what else you got. Those cows did look dead, and then I said it wouldn't surprise me if they did die. I think I have a setting where the animals can die or be taken away if the health goes too low. Good thing I have that turned off. So that is one of my settings I could change, and I do leave that off on purpose because I am not the best animal care person. 
But hey, that was both comics from Autosim Crew. Thank you very much. Let's get this filled mode and uh, get some hay bales made. Wait, grass bales made, not hay bales. We are now over here on field 54, starting up the mowing. And field 54 is the boy Maddie. So let's see here. He did leave a comment for episode five. I've always wanted to stay in a TP, as Autosim Crew said. It sounds like fun, but sadly there's none in Melbourne, Australia, from what I know of. Yeah, I don't know if that would be a normal thing at all in Australia. I mean, TP is kind of Indian thing in America. So, yeah, there might not be any. Then I said there's a place near in my stay that also has covered wagons as places to stay. I want to try that out when, when it cools down. It's over 100 degrees today. I'm going to try and find some old pictures and share them as a community post. And I did do a community post with the old photos, the TP I stayed in a little bit from the trip. It was a fun trip. I really wish we could go back one day. I mean, that's why I keep telling myself one day, but we'll see. But hey, uh, the boy Maddie, hey, thank you so much for that comment. And looks like I got some blocked object, which I believe it's just a beller. We'll take that, look at that. Yep, it is just a beller. And one other thing I did forget that I got this hooked up. I need to fertilize. No, no, not fertilize. I need to remove the weeds. I need to do some weed removal on both the fields I planted last episode, the O field and the linseed field. So I'm going to get that set up and go in while I take care of all these other field work. And then I probably need to take care of the animals too. Oh, and my TMR mixer, man, I got a lot to do. <laughs> Now, I'm almost out of straw in my big bag thing I have over by the cows. So I'm going to go ahead and just purchase a bunch of straw, maybe a whole trailer full. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost. You may be able to notice right over there on the right side of the screen, I do have a bunch of straw bells, but I kind of don't want to touch those yet. So let's see if I got enough money to buy this. And I did notice October is the best selling month for milk. So we probably will be selling milk this month, even though I just started making it, so I won't make much. And I did notice I have a trailer I can get rid of that I forgot all about. Here, we'll go ahead and sell that trailer. It was, where was it? Trailers, it was this one. It's the starting trailer. I haven't used it in a long time. I just had it sitting in the shed and I drove by the shed and I was like, oh, hey, there's something I can sell. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I spent $13,000 on that straw and I just made $23,000 on that uh, trailer cell. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to see if this straw will actually dump into that big bag thing over there. Or if it just goes right into the pin. Oh, looks like, yeah. Looks like that big bag is going up. Let me just jump across here. You know, nothing wrong with that. Yep, big bag is going up. Perfect. This has been, I keep calling it a big bag. I need to figure out what the name of it is. Global Goods Transport Pallet. This uh, transport pallet is filling up, so doing good. It's actually been working. I guess it does work. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't get to work when I first put it in. So I like that. Maybe I just need to leave it there, back out, come back in type thing. Needs to register, hey, it's in that trigger spot, maybe. I don't know. I'm no expert at this game. But hey, with that uh, straw being in there, that will continually keep that full of straw. That's perfect. Now I'm going to look at doing that probably with the wheat eventually. I think I want to do a wheat harvest, even though I was talking about not doing a wheat harvest last episode because of me just buying those pallets and that transport global pallet not working. Looks like both fields are done mowing. Somebody else has finished working. I believe that's the grass beller on the first field. So now I'm going to switch out bellers and start changing over silage bell this over here does get missed quite a bit from that beller so i will run the silage beller over here after i get all these bells picked up and just kind of pick up that little bit of grass that i missed i want to get every little bit i can but man that is a lot of grass bells i'm really impressed with that all right we are here on field 56 which i named uh chris stewart now, i did read off one of his comments earlier at the beginning of the episode i mean it kind of went really good with one of my goals this episode <laughs> so i kind of had to but he did have a few other comments so let's go over those while we're working on his field here uh what keys unlock a banana monkeys <laughs> and that uh, coming back that's a good one my kid is going to love that he's planning on his gaming channel he's planning on i guess i messed up there he's planning on naming his gaming channel the what did i say he's planning on his gaming channel to be banana gamer okay Maybe I didn't get messed up too much. LOL. 
But yeah, uh, one of my kids, he absolutely loves bananas. And one of my other kids absolutely loves pizza. So we decided to go ahead and change my other kid's name because there was a little confusion. His original gaming channel was just called L Family Gaming. And that's what I started with before this channel. And then I decided to go ahead and give it to him and let him learn more about it. But then as this channel was growing, there was some confusion between each channel. And so we decided to change his name and he really liked pizza. I was like, hey, why not? Let's do Pizza Gamer. And on the plus side, if we can ever get a partnership with Pizza Hut or something, that would be amazing because I spent so much money there. A sponsorship or something from them. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try that a little bit later on as he gets older. That would be really cool. Well, there's that comment, and I believe he's got another one. And my other kid, he loves bananas, but he doesn't have a gaming channel yet. He's not quite old enough or has really showed much interest in it. I'm not going to push up towards it. So he might not even have a gaming channel. And then Chris Stewart said, Who this? You think you can just leave for a week and then walk back into our lives like nothing happened? We stay up every night worrying, and I'm tired of typing, welcome back. I put thanks. I was just talking with some people about bringing back my daily time lapse so there's something to watch every day. I miss the daily comments and dad jokes I get from you. LOL. And then uh, Auto Sim Crew came in saying, I agree. It seems like it's been years since we heard from him. And then I put, I guess I better step up my production now. I didn't realize it had been so long. Um, well, I mean, there was the time I was down with the hard drive issue. I think I was down a week there. And then other stuff here and there, maybe. I don't, I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Maybe I was just trying to slow down my production, maybe. I do know, I think that week I only released one video. I, I do know that. So, going from a video every single day to one video that week yeah it does seem like i did go missing so i do apologize for that i'm trying to get back up there and that's part of the reason why i'm going to probably shorten these so i can try to get something out every day hey uh chris stewart as always thank you so much for those comments really do appreciate it you're there on every single one of them thank you one other thing i do want to finally do is upgrade my trailer i think i got enough room i've been maneuvering around okay with this shorter trailer i'm gonna get a longer one that way it can hold more bells obviously so let's go ahead and get this one sold i thought i had two of them maybe i sold the other one for some money <laughs> i was thinking about going with a semi and just going up for this 53 foot drop deck but uh, i don't think i got enough room for that so we're gonna go with the 30 foot one here and we'll get this round bell auto one here auto load round bells because i'm about to go pick a bunch up there we go. I guess this will do. Uh, it's going to hold 18 bells now. That's good. I'll take the ramps off, even though they'll probably shoot out like the other one does. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll figure that out. But I have $53,000 now since I sold that other trailer, and this one only costs uh, almost 21000 so we'll buy it. I don't think I got anything leased. Oh my gosh, I do. Okay. I'm uh, thinking of a different series. I've been trying to reduce my lease things. Holy cow, I got a lot of stuff leased. Ooh, that's a lot. You know, I'm going around picking up these uh, bells, and I realized I do have another trailer. Why wasn't that in there? What is it, a leased item, maybe? Yeah, it's looking like it's a leased one. Okay. Okay. We ended up with 15 bells. Not bad. That should hold us off till next uh, grass harvest time, which would be next year in the game. At least I think it will hold us off. I don't know. But yep, I'll dump those there for now. I need to try to keep an eye on these. The issue is I'll end up having like these bells here. They don't get smaller. So these bells will end up getting only having like less than a thousand liters of grass in there. So all three of these bells will run out overnight and this will run out of food and I just don't even catch it. So I need to try to keep a better eye on that. But that worked out pretty good, I would say. Now let's head over this way, and I don't know if I can cut across that field or not without damaging it, so let me try to avoid it. And, uh, yeah, that's not looking like I'm going to be able to avoid it. Let's see here. All tires and tracks. Okay, that's what I thought. We did end up getting one full trailer and almost a second full trailer from that field, but you might be able to tell in the background there I have the tractor running on field one, auto sim crew field and i'm pretty sure it's going to make another silage bill oh look there it goes just dropping one right now <laughs> so let me go pick that up so i can have two full trailers i did set them pretty far apart because i know that stuff over there is done 
fermenting and it is already silage and I need to move some over to my TMR mixture. So that's the reason I separated them. I really want to get a full trailer just like that before I even unloaded it. <laughs> that's perfect. Now I get this unloaded and I just realized I got everything on miles per hour and dollars instead of euros and kilometers per hour. I think I'm going to leave it. It's just starting to get hard to remember to switch between maps and series. So I'm just sticking with miles per hour. Past episode or episodes, I can't remember. I did have an issue with not being able to lime or fertilize some of the fields. And I think that was because I rolled first. So I will avoid rolling first. I'm going to do the rolling completely last and we'll see if that solves the issue. All right, for the moment of truth, let's see if this actually fertilizes or not. I know this wasn't the field I had the issue with. It was the other one. Okay, there it goes. Man, I was... I was really worried. Oh, man. I was like, why is it not coming out? So this field is fertilizing just fine. But like I said, this wasn't the field I had the issue with. It was the other one, so I'll see if that one works or not. Now, I did have somebody recently comment about me rolling the grass fields. Saying I didn't need to... And I don't know if it's because of a mod I got or what, and I believe I explained it correctly in the comment. This comment's not in episode 5, and that's, I'm not reading it off, so I don't know exactly what it says. But I was saying I rolled the grass field so I can get it to a different growth stage. Because right now it says harvest it. Next month would be growth stage 1 of 3. But if you roll the field, it will change it to growth stage 1 of 3. Now he did say something about, I believe it just takes 3 months every time. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a mod I got, or I'm using that, that does that. I'm not sure. I do know before I started using Precision Farming, I used to never do fertilizer. I would just roll the field so I could save my money on fertilizer. Well, I'd try to roll the field. I remember that was on a Willamina series, Willamina Forest series, and I would try to roll the field, but it didn't work out too well because of how hilly it was. But that is why I rolled the field, just to advance the growth stage faster and get more harvest in each year. That's the reason behind that. So this field is very, very bad on nitrogen. I mean, we didn't get a chance to do it last time because it didn't work. So my future harvest should be pretty good as long as this works. I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see. I uh, hope it works. I am kind of worried it's going to blow through all 2,600 liters of fertilizer I have. Just because of how bad it is and how much it needs to add. Uh, we'll see. Okay, well, it's turned on. And nothing's coming out. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, my nitrogen, it says okay. It's down on zero. It will not allow me to add any nitrogen to this build. I mean, it was a newer map and everything, so maybe some issue there. I don't know if my slurry will work. I don't think it will. Let me, let me try the slurry, I guess. Or I could try the other tractor. I don't have the nitrogen sensing on this tractor. Maybe I need to use the other tractor. Yeah, let me just drop this off here for now and I'll figure it out later. Oops. Oh, we ended up running out of lime, so I guess it's time to refill this. What do we got here? $12,000 worth of lime. That is or my money now. Now I'm trying to think about what to do with that grass field. I think maybe if I just completely redo it again, plow it, plant it, all kinds of stuff, maybe that will work and allow me to uh, fertilize it, maybe? I don't know, still not giving up. After this gets done, I'm gonna use this tractor on the fertilizer and see if it works that way. Because I believe this might be the only tractor I have with a nitrogen sensing. Maybe my bigger tractor does too, I'm not sure. Well, I'm giving this one a try and it doesn't seem to be working. Let's go ahead and turn off this course play and see if I can, I don't even think I can manually do it. Nope, I got it turned on, activated right now, nothing. I don't know what's going on. And I think I have the nitrogen sensing on that. Let's see here, a large tractor, oops. Can't customize here, so I don't know. I know I got it on the red one, so I'll try the red one next. If that doesn't work, then I don't know. You know, I keep referring to this tractor as the red one. <laughs> I need to remember to say Massey. <laughs> or Massey Ferguson. But, hey, whoa, 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 is it working?
I mean, I got it on manual, I guess. It might be working. No, it seemed to stop. Maybe it just caught a little piece and wanted to add to it. Um, let's see here. So it doesn't seem to be working with this either. I do got another idea I could try. Let's go ahead and buy the soul samples again. Purchase those for $2,700 and maybe that will fix it. I'll just turn it on right here and it looks like it is. Okay, I guess that was my problem. I need to buy the soul samples. Oops, not dearest. Let's go first. Yep, looks like it's up to 65, 65. So even my slurry might work too. Uh, I just need to buy the soil samples again. Man, I can't believe I messed that up that way. Okay, now I know. Now you know. Don't know why I did it. I don't know if I need to keep buying soil samples every now and then or what. But maybe I need to get some new ones after plowing up. But I mean, that's the thing. The lime was working. Why wouldn't the fertilizer? I got a little bit more I need to do here in this field and then uh, take care of the animals and some other stuff. I'm going to take down some notes though, but I got to get off. It was the kids' first day of school, so we're going to go out to dinner somewhere and just, well, the first day back to school. I mean, they're not that little. <laughs> so we're going to go out to dinner somewhere as a family and uh, have a nice little dinner and talk about school and everything. So I'm going to take some little notes here and see where I left off and hopefully I can pick up where I left off with no issue. We'll see. All right, I'm finally back to playing. Uh, looks like on my notes, I put roll the field. Hey, I'm done with that. I actually left the game going whenever we went out to eat. I just put it on a halftime speed and left the game going while it rolled. Hey, whatever. Uh, advance to harvest time selling products. Okay, that's another note I got. So I got to advance some. I believe I'm close to that 30 minute mark I want to hit, if not already there. So I believe next up is our next up for our goals is make money. So we need to advance to selling some more stuff. So let's uh, look at some stuff. So October is the best sell time for milk. So we're going to go ahead and jump on that real quick. So it looks like I got 50,000 liters. It's saying best sell time is uh, max value is $115,000. But it's saying right now I have 112,000 in value. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe a kind of drop. Let's tag this place. It's uh, Tall Tree Stores Bay 1. I don't know if I want to go all the way there. I know they've been putting them pretty far away. Oh. No. I've never been there, so. Yep. Yeah, kind of interested in that. Let's uh, take a little trip over there and see what's over there. Here I am now filling up with the uh, milk. In the bottom right, you might be able to tell my milk number's dropping but my capacity is 20 million liters so i go quite a bit uh, i wasn't expecting to have this much that i got right now and i got a cow down here buried up underneath here that's what i was talking about whenever you open the gate it should be able to remove the animation cows out of here but i'm sure that'd be pretty hard to figure out i know i'm no expert on it so just something cool i think would be a, a cool feature but perfectly fine without it because I'm constantly running over these chickens anyways. You know, I was following the map down there in the bottom left. It kind of looks like there's a road that comes back this way, but this does not look like a normal road, so I'm really surprised it's showing up on the map the way it is. So let's see if we can figure out this cell point. Oh, well, that's pretty simple. Just go to the green thing. All right, looks like we made $112,447 from the milk plus a $11,922 environmental score reward. Now the total amount will be up there on the screen. I've been starting, I've been starting to add like the both numbers individually plus the total amount. So something a little different. You know, that whole ad and the whole slapping the number thing up there. I mean, I've seen people do it here and there, but and then I saw Auto Sim Crew do it, and I was like, man, that is a pretty cool feature. I need to try to make sure I stay on top of that because it makes a big difference. We are in the month of November, best sell time for eggs, so let's go ahead and get those sold over here. Uh, we made $17,700 plus a $1,876 environmental score. And I did not back this up to this gate. I'm pretty sure I tried. But I'm pretty sure this trailer can't fit through this gate.
Yeah, it's uh It's not looking good. Uh, oh well. Definitely type fit. This is the first time I've been over here with a and probably the last time to be honest with you. I just can't get in there, so I could probably use to sell everything that I got on the farm. Looks like I got some notification, uh some award thing in the bottom there. Don't know if I got it on camera or not. Something with the pigs, I think. But I am out of water and manure over at my greenhouses. I <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was probably down for a while. But I was trying to look at something else. Let's see here. Because it said something about the... Sh what is it? Chickens. Chickens selling. So yeah, I have no chickens, even though it shows I have some here on the ground. Looks like my 50 chickens did leave me and go over to that contract. So it looks like I might have got a notification for the pigs probably reproducing or something. I'm not sure. There we go. It says delivered 50 chickens. Still got the pigs to go. And it just does automatically. So let me go ahead and buy some more chickens. Wherever that trigger was. And we'll just go ahead and get another 50 female adult chickens. Well, we got a little bit of a problem now. Looks like my TMR mixer is not keeping up with my cow pen right now. I ran completely out of food. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of TMR mixed in with what I got out of the production building also and see if we can kind of try to stay afloat a little better. But I mean, that really didn't cost too much, just $10,000. We are now in January and a lot of stuff sells really high in January. I mean, we got oats, wheat. We're not going to sell oats. We're going to sell the sorghum, though. Probably won't sell the weed either. But the oats is, is actually in this transport pallet here. And I just brought it over here for feeding the horses a little bit easier. Looking at selling the silage now, and it's telling me to go over to the Garden Center Bells. That's at $5.89. And I came down here, and it shows my sell everything at $5.69. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, I don't know if I want to make that drive for that extra money there. I mean, looking here, this says five sixty nine is the max price. It's telling me I make two hundred seventeen thousand, and then if I take it over here, I'd make two hundred twenty five thousand. So a couple thousand extra, but I don't think I'm gonna make the drive because I got more than one trip I need to do. I got a whole nother load over there, so I'm gonna do two loads sold here and call it good. There we go, it all sold. That's $78,565 plus a $8,330 environmental bonus. Now let's do that again and make some more money. We're making some pretty good money. I mean, that was one of my goals, make money. <laughs> Here we go, got a whole nother trailer sold. $78,948 plus $8,370 environmental score. But pretty good money. We're up over a quarter million dollars now. We're at $274,000. And I do have some more silage bells I can probably sell, but I think I'm going to hold off on that for right now. I want to make sure I keep that TMR production going, even though it's not keeping over my animals. Maybe I'll put in another one, but I want to make sure that can keep going. Let's see what else I got to sell. There's quite a bit here. Uh, let's see here. Wheat. I'm not going to sell that. Oats. I'm not going to sell that. I'll do the sorghum or the contract mainly. And then slurry will sell that too. It's only $66,000 worth. But uh, I think I can, I think it'd be fine. I need to probably, you know, I'm going to set that on an automatic sell because 606,000 liters, that is a lot to move. I don't have, I don't know how many trips that would be. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set it up as direct sell. Oh, wait a second. I can't do that. At least I don't think I can. I guess I don't exactly work like production, but I didn't think about that, so I cannot set that up as a direct sell. Well, here's what I'm going to go with. I was looking at getting this big semi-trailer earlier for my bells, and I will use this for the bells also, but it has a 1 million liter capacity on it. So, pretty simple. I don't need to go in and edit something right now. And I'm going to use it to transport the slurry, but let's go ahead and buy that, and then I'll look at getting a semi for it also. I guess I can check the cells, see if there's anything on sale, and nope. Well, nothing. No semi, at least. And then I'm going to go with something a little different. I never used the Volvos or anything like that. Um, I don't know why. I tried it on the Silver Run map. I didn't really care for them too much. 
Well, I mean, probably because I get a TLX Phoenix for like 1500 with 1500 horsepower. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, let's go ahead and lease this. It's $226,000. We'll lease it, though, because obviously we don't got that much money. And I don't see myself getting that much money anytime soon. There will be an issue with getting around this map and probably getting around this farm for sure. So I got to back all the way down here because I know there's no spot for me to turn around down here. Which, I mean, backing up over here is really not that bad. It's working out a lot better than I thought it would. There we go, slurry is starting to fill up. It's going to take a while. You can see how slow it's going, so I'm going to go to some other stuff while that fills up. There we go, just sold uh, all that sorghum over here for $38,839 plus a $4,118 environmental bonus. So that part of that VIP contract is done. You can see it's green now. Now I'm just waiting on chickens to age and sell automatically and pigs to age and sell automatically. We are off on the road now with this big old truck and trailer. So, eh, I kind of got a straight shot to that BGA. Not too much to worry about. I'm really more worried about if I ever go try to do a large sell of uh, bells. That's kind of my worry. Especially if I try to take it to the best sell price area. But uh, I got a little over 552,000 liters in there. I'm not too sure. I, I don't think it's all of it. I think I got some more in a different silo, but I can't actually pull up to that silo with this truck and trailer <laughs> it's way too tight of a fit so i'm gonna probably set rest of it on selling well it's a silo it's not can't set it on sell selling sorry i'm just so used to uh playing on maps where i have a distributing silo and everything so and i'm stuck Is there another way in Hey, there it goes. I just gotta go fast. Somewhere over here is the cell for this. I think it's right here. Hmm, this is probably gonna take a while to sell, too. <laughs> yep, this is the cell point. Oh, almost done here. This is a lot more money than I thought it'd be, maybe. So $60,337 plus a $6,397 environmental reward. Now, I don't know. It just seemed like it was a lot more money than that. I'm back up to almost a quarter of a million dollars. I would say it was worth it. I mean, I kind of need to sell, to sell it because it's not going anywhere. It's just going to stay there until I do something with it. See if I can get out of here, though. Uh, too bad, I guess. I mean, my little trailer, I can't even get into some of the places. <laughs> so... We'll see how much this trailer's actually used. Well, that's actually going to wrap up this episode. I just really want to say thank you, everybody, so much for stopping in and watching. I really do appreciate it. We hit all our goals. Shorten the episode's 30 minutes. I won't know that until I edit it. So I'm going to try between 20 to 30 minutes. And I got a feeling this one's going to be in the 30s. Uh, Bell Silich for TMR and selling and wreck right into that. Holy cow. That's why I can't read and talk and play at the same time so we uh, did that got plenty of silage for the TMR mixer it's not enough we gotta figure something else out there and we sold quite a bit and then bell grass for sheep we got that grass for the sheep and we're still feeding them with it and then make money I'm not too sure how much we made this whole entire episode I'll plop that up right about here I mean editing's a very powerful thing and obviously I'm not counting and this is just from products sold so this is not from me selling vehicles or anything like that. It's just how much I made from my products sold. Now, where do I park this? <laughs> you know what? It's looking like a pretty good spot right over here against that wall by the house. But hey, uh, yeah, like I said, thank you everybody for stopping and watching. I believe I got all the comments read off. If y'all haven't already, Please hit that like and subscribe button. Really mean a difference. If you got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. They're always appreciated. And I love to learn new things anyway, so I don't know it all. But until next time, y'all take care.